Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nerenstein, and this is Vehicle Virgins. I'm so pumped. Yesterday, we filmed one of the best videos, if not the best video I've ever made on Vehicle Virgins. It is an Uber 2.0 video that I filmed in the McLaren 720S. So get ready for that. That's dropping June 22nd, Friday. Put it on your calendar. Noon, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Today, we've got some more McLaren action. Going to check out a PSM Dynamic Body Kitted 5. 570s let's hit it but before we head out I want to give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video audible I'm especially excited about this because I've actually been using audible for years on long drives I'll be honest I'm not a huge fan of reading but I do love learning that's why audiobooks are so cool you just pop one on in the car if you're stuck on the 405 traffic or on a road trip and you can listen and be entertained for hours audible has an incredible selection of audiobooks news comedy and more I've been listening to this awesome audiobook called the monk who sold is Ferrari which is a story about the successful lawyer who finally realizes that monk Money and success do not equate to happiness. Honestly, I recommend checking it out. You can even alter the playback speed to listen to the book faster or slower, and it saves exactly where you left off when you're switching from a tablet in your house to your phone in the car. The cool part is Audible is offering you subscribers a free audiobook, any single one you want, with a 30-day trial membership. All you gotta do is go to audible.com slash VV. I've got a link in the description. Or text VV to 500-500 to browse the unmatched selection of audiobooks, download it for free, and start listening right away. That's audible.com slash VV or text VV to 500-500. Let's get on with the video. We're waiting at the gas station right now for the 570S. Chris is M2, Alex is coming, and he's bringing his mom. So his mom is super into high-end cars, but doesn't have much experience with them. So I think I'm gonna take her for a ride today in the 570S. I also wanna talk to you guys about my new key tags. I think these things are absolutely hilarious. I've got a link in the description below for these, especially if you hold one up, you take a picture with a Prius, post it on Instagram, hashtag Priuses, link in description. Can we just reflect on the fitment of Alex's M2 right now? Look at that. All right, how about a little launch action? I'm feeling that right now. Just rolled up. I thought we were just gonna get some McLaren 570S action. I've seen this thing blow up all over Instagram. They actually reached out to me via Alex, and I'm like, yeah, of course I want to drive that thing. And then they show up in an M2 and a wide body M4 that's absolutely slammed to the ground. Chris, is this static? Yeah. This thing is static. It's not even on airbags. Look how low that is. Obviously, recently I've done a lot of McLaren content. It's actually been entirely random, spontaneous, and happened to come together. But I didn't want to pass up an opportunity to drive the coolest looking 570S I've ever seen in my entire life. Just look at the amount of carbon fiber body panels on this thing, and I figured, because I've experienced McLarens a lot, why don't I give that experience to Alex's mom, and we're gonna take her for a little ride. But we gotta do a walk around. Look at the new front end, front bumper, full carbon fiber hood, three-piece wheels, amazing side skirts. This actually reminds me of like an LP640 kind of vent here. Massive wing, not sure what's going on here, but we're missing the entire engine cover, but I'm not complaining, that is really cool. So we're here with Alex and Alex's mom, Natalia, and we're about to do a little ride in the 570S. Are you excited? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you hold on the, oh. there you go. Yeah, just pull hard. Perfect. <laughs> 
this will be an interesting comparison considering I just had that 720 for a while. This thing is tuned and straight piped and has that beautiful PSM dynamic body kit. So stock, this has 563 horsepower. I'm guessing, I don't know the specifics on the tune. It's probably a, right around about 700. And considering the low curb weight of the 570S, it's gonna be fast. Did you like the Lamborghini when you rode in that? Oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> Yeah, it's pretty fast. And he was just, uh, you know, on a um, brakes, yep. like really loop. So I've got a link in the description below to the owner of this car, as well as PSM Dynamics, Instagram, and YouTube accounts. If you guys are interested in more information about the kit, it's actually pretty reasonably priced for all the components that you're getting. ton of fun. Natalia had to go back to work. She just took Alex's M2 and absolutely ripped it out of here. Now we're going to head out in the 570S. I'm going to go for a ride with Alex. We're going to rip the canyons and then get some food. And Frankie behind the camera right now is going to be taking the 740 horsepower E63. Get a 720, dude. You just straight 
that's not true actually. I drove a 650S with an AWE exhaust and the exhausts do make a big difference in terms of kind of mitigating that okay sounding smooth V8. That was yeah, like, that was like violent. Yeah, this thing sounds like this an animal. sounds good. Because everything, I, I always love comparing f to your Lambo. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, as a young man with a supercar, I really want something that like, makes me feel like I'm in something crazy. Yeah, 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 100%. Right? That's why I like the 675 LT, because it's just so violent and feels so raw. Like the Performante is a great example of it. Yeah. And like, sure, the 720S may be faster in a straight line, but. All right, some McLaren 570S point of view action. This thing is absolutely gnarly in the canyons. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this thing. The tachometer is really cool too. I love the shift dots right above the tachometer when you get into the higher RPM ranges to let you know when to shift because this thing does climb through the red line really fast. And just the level of mechanical grip for a rear wheel drive car, you gotta be kidding me. Those pops too. Well, that was an absolute blast of a day. I've done a lot of content on 570, so I didn't want to do a full review. I figured I'd mix it up, and especially giving Alex's mom the opportunity to ride in it was super cool. Thanks again to PSM and Sean, the owner of this car, for letting me drive it. It was an absolute blast. There's something to be said about modified McLarens. For a while, people weren't able to crack into the ECUs, but now that they can, the 570 is crazy fast. Mike Street Speed 717 has a tuned 570S considering how light these are they absolutely fly I can't wait to see the tuned and heavily modified 720s especially with that Vorsteiner body kit on it looks epic and then don't forget guys link in the description below for these limited edition F Prius key tags well I hope you enjoyed this video like always please browse the channel and subscribe I look forward to seeing you next video